I became a multimillionaire was the toughest year of my life. Mm. So I want y'all to understand that if you're not doing the self work, the money gonna come. Let's find the purpose. Let's find who we are. Let's find that self love. Let's find that discipline. Let's find, okay, y'all, you drinking and you're trying to take away the pain, sit in that pain. Why mm. am I feeling this? Let's get to the root of that and heal that. You, the money, you gonna get the money if that's your goal. If the house is your goal, you gonna get it. Right. But w when you get it, then what? If your mind is messed up. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one, man. And I wanted y'all to see that clip, man, because that queen couldn't be more correct. You know what I'm saying? That queen couldn't be more correct, man. She said the year that she became a multimillionaire was the hardest year of her life. You know what I'm saying? And for real, for real, that's why that shadow work is so important. You know what I'm saying? Because like she said, the money gonna come. Whatever it is that you after is gonna come. The house gonna come. The car gonna come. Whatever it is that you after is gonna come. But you still gotta continue to work on yourself. That's why I tell y'all, listen, man. Listen, you could get to the highest point. You could get to the highest point in your life, bro. And that shit could all come crashing down if you don't work on yourself, bro. If you didn't do, if you didn't, if you didn't take the lessons and apply them shits, you know what I'm saying? And really learn something while you was coming up, you know what I mean? Really let that journey that you been through, you know what I mean? Let that, all of the shit that, that didn't happen to you sink in to where you gain knowledge and wisdom and you did all of the shadow work necessary. Listen, bro, you gonna lose everything. You gonna lose everything, you know? Because guess what? All those lessons that you learned along your along the way, that's what's going to help you maintain. That's what's going to help you maintain the fortune that you gain. But listen, if you didn't learn nothing, if you just toss all of that shit out of the window or while you on your journey, you just, you know, you you just skip, you skipping steps, you just thinking about the finish line and you not taking it all in, bro. Listen, you going to lose everything. If you're not putting in that shadow work, bro, you going to lose it all you gonna lose it all it's important for you to work on yourself but i don't think a lot of people understand that yeah if you just did yeah, the money gonna come everything that you after gonna come as long as you put in the work but you gotta put in the shadow work too so you can maintain that you know what i'm saying so you can keep that so you got a bag full of tools for everything that come your way but if you ain't right yourself bro you ain't gonna keep shit that money gonna be gone quicker than you got the shit. Your ass gonna come falling down uh, faster than your ass got up to that level that you made it to. So that's why it's important to put in the work that we putting in now. You know, we can't get, we can't be, we can't go into success addicted to pussy. You know how fast you gonna lose your money? You know how fast you gonna be, man, bro, listen, man. You can't go into nothing addicted to pussy. You can't go into success addicted to drugs. You can't go into success, right? With not, without working on yourself, your self-esteem and all of that shit. Everything, bro, your confidence, all of that. If that's not there, bro, listen, something is going to happen to where you're going to lose everything that you gain. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't work on yourself. You didn't do all of the shadow work that was necessary in order to maintain that. And what I mean by maintain is all of the things that you need to keep that business going that you, that you didn't build. You know, you try, you need the things that, you need the things that's going to keep it there. You know what I'm saying? So if you blew up out of the blue, right? But your energy still ain't right. Your confidence ain't up. You know what I'm saying? Your masculinity out of the window. How you going to be pitching more things for your business to grow? You know what I'm saying? How you going to do that when you got all of these issues with yourself that's unresolved? That's unresolved, bro. You don't want to go into, you don't want to step into success with unresolved ass issues. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to step into success with addictions that you never took care of. You don't want to step into success with emotional issues you never took care of, psychological issues, mental health issues. You're going to lose everything. That's why it's important to take this this journey serious bro you got to take that shadow work serious you got to take your process serious this is a process some of y'all don't understand what process means process is loading 
okay? Process is going through, is getting things together, is getting everything where it needs to be so something can work. It is processing. It's like looking at a computer like, yeah, and it's processing and you seeing the buffering thing. Our life is in buffer mode right now. We is buffering this shit up. Okay, so you got to continue to put the work in that you're doing and that surrounding work. I can't I can't stress this enough because that surrounding work is what's going to save your ass. That's what's going to save your ass. That surrounding work, that shadow work, those things that you think is little, but ain't so little. You know what I mean? That you've been pushing off to the side, that you've been sweeping under the rug. Nah, bro, you getting your emotions in check is very huge. That's big. That ain't little. You get you listen, you getting that yo 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 pussy addiction under control. That is huge. These women, listen, these women are the cause of a lot of motherfuckers falling from the top. Okay? So you can't step into success not having that under control. Your finances, bro, you gotta be smart with money. How you gonna step into success, but you dumb with money? You spending money all the time on dumb shit. You know you don't know nothing about finances. You're not smart with things. You don't know nothing about houses. You don't know nothing about this. You don't know nothing about that. But you steady spending, spending, spending. You steady buying jewelry. Okay? You steady, you steady buying things that don't build any any type of extra income. You know what I mean? You buying liabilities. You know what I'm saying? You're not buying assets. And that's where a lot of these athletes and these motherfucking entertainers go wrong. They buy liability uh, liabilities instead of assets. And guess what? They ass getting getting motherfucking haunted down by the IRS. You know what I'm saying? They got back taxes that they owe, get locked up. Go ask Wesley Snipes. Go ask Chris Tucker. Go ask the list, the long list of a lot of motherfuckers that then landed in put that that then landed in tax troubles, pussy problems, women troubles, domestics, mental health issues, drug issues. You can I can sit here and name people all day. Because they didn't do the shadow work that was necessary that was gonna keep them, keep them on the top. That's why it's important now. I tell y'all all the time, y'all gonna be successful, bruh. Y'all are chosen by God, but that doesn't mean that you can't work now. God ain't gonna work for you, bro. You gotta put in the work and he gonna assist you. But as soon as you stop working, the most high gonna stop working. Soon as you stop working, the universe gonna stop working. Soon as you stop working, you gonna stop working. And guess what? Your ass just gonna be sitting there. Okay, so you gotta understand the importance of this. Listen to that girl in that clip. Listen to that queen. Look at look at what she said, bro. When she got the money, that was the hardest year. That was the hardest year because she didn't do the necessary shadow work that she needed to maintain that. You know what I'm saying? So she had to get her drinking under control. She had to get unresolved issues that she had under control. You know what I mean? She had to get all these things under control because nine times out of ten, even though she didn't talk about it, something happened to where she could have lost it all. She felt herself slipping. And we've all been there. I be feeling myself slipping. And guess what? I got to wake up and get myself back in line, man. You know, and that's a part of the process. That is a part of the journey, bruh. You gon' slip, but how you get up? How your bitch ass get up? Did you get up? Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't laying down like I told y'all earlier, man. But you gotta put in that shadow work. Otherwise, your ass gon' be laying down. Otherwise, your ass gon' be up and your ass gon' be down. And guess what? It's gonna be hard for you to get back up, bro. You know what I'm saying? All of the things that you worked hard for will be lost. Everything that you worked hard for will be lost without you working on yourself. And people want to question, why is it so important? Why self-love so important? Why this journey, why semen retention so important? Why no fap so important? Bitch, nigga, because it is. Because it is. Now you go without it and let's see where you get. Let's see how far you get. Let's see how far you get, because that no matter what, wherever you end up at, guess what? It's always a place where you can fall down. I don't care how high you get. I don't care how low you get. It's always a lower than low, nigga. It's always a lower and low. When you thought you didn't hit rock bottom, you still ain't hit rock bottom till you hit rock bottom, bitch. People don't understand that shit. So guess what? It's important for you to wake the fuck up now. Wake up now. Continue to put in that little shadow work that you think is little but ain't so little, bro. I'm going to keep telling you this. 
I'ma keep telling you this, nigga. This is kung fu, bro. This is kung fu. This is kung fu. That little wax on, wax off shit, you think it ain't nothing. But nigga, you learning how to block niggas' punches. You learning how to block life's punches by just waxing that car that doing that little shadow work. You learning how to control your anger by doing that shadow work. You learning how to control your sexual desires by doing that shadow work. You learning how to control your mental health by doing that shadow work, fool. You learning how to maintain that money that you got coming by doing this shadow work now. You learning how to maintain that house that you got on the way by, by doing this shadow work now. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna let, when you, once you put in this work, ain't nothing gonna be able to touch you. Ain't no problem gonna be able to knock you off your square because you been through the lessons. You knew the lessons like, hey, I remember this. I remember this. Guess what? Let me go in my bag and then I'm gonna slice and dice this shit because I know this situation. I didn't study for this. I didn't work on problems just like this. And I learned how to resolve that shit, fool. So bring whatever it is you got. Tell the devil to bring whatever the fuck the devil gonna bring when you get up there and tell him that you got some motherfucking kryptonite for his ass. Tell him you got some shells for his ass. Tell him you got some motherfucking shit that his ass ain't ready for for his ass. Tell him you got the most high for his ass because he don't know what you done been through, dog. Don't nobody know. So it could be a something spiritual that you going against or it could be a motherfucking human. It don't matter. It could be a hater. It could be a bitch that thinks she going to infiltrate you. And guess what? Her ass going to hit the wall. Her ass going to hit them shelves. Her ass going to hit rock bottom trying to play with you. Understand? So that's why it's important to put in this shadow work now. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the CN Take. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma